what is up guys jpr tech here and today i'm going to be showing you how to keep good performance while increasing your battery life and keeping your tablet cool down or well, your windows tablet that is well the thing is that a lot of surface pro users specifically the core i5 and the core i7 versions of the models tend to overheat the cpu tends to just crank up the voltage but then all of a sudden hits a wall and throttles down so then you got overheating issues you got slow down so what we need to do is we need to keep a uh, basically put a cruise control speed controller on our cpu basically telling it to run at a constant speed and don't change it and that's what i'm going to show you how to do it so first thing you want to do is open up your registry so you go over right click your windows button go to run and then you want to go to reg edit so open that up and you hit yes as an administrator and i'm gonna have the location down in the um, information down below so you could just copy and paste it but anyways we're gonna go to our local machine and in there you'll find the systems folder which has the current controller set go to the controller folder and then you will find the power folder go there and you will find the file we need to change here and when you open up the power folder, you will find CS enabled. And this is what we need to change. So go ahead and double click that. The value data is set at one by default. So hit zero and I already did it as you can see. And then restart your machine. So once you restart, you'll be here on the same window that I am with the zero enabled. And the reason why you want to change this registry is because our power options are locked in the normal settings. So after restarting, like I just did, we are able to go to our power options. And now from there, we're able to create a power plan that we can customize or even we can customize the normal Windows uh, default power settings but I just created one by myself so we go to change plan settings and on the left side you're gonna see the change advanced power settings now in these settings normally by default we won't have all these different settings available it will be very limited but the most important one we want to get to is the processor power management. And afterwards, you could play around with other things like the Intel graphics, the wireless adapter, your USB, and even your hard disk. First thing we do is head over to the processor power management, go to your minimal processor state. And these are the settings that I have that are I found it to have the best balanced for performance and battery life while keeping it cool without any fans kicking in even though i'm plugged in right now i haven't heard any fans at all and i watch hd videos in youtube i had gimp open i had a bunch of apps and things running and it never kicked in at all not once and that's the beauty about this see if you keep the machine cool it will keep running constantly and at a steady speed which helps you be productive so if we head over to the performance tab in our task manager we can see that we're running in a very decent 1.5 gigahertz it's very constant and smooth and it's just i think it's the perfect balance between uh, the heat and performance of course we can adjust it for example if we go over to our minimal processor state is the most important setting we can have is i have it while it's plugged in it's at 60 percent but if I increase this, let's say 80, 80 is enough to have the turbo boost kick in. As you can see, we're already at two gigahertz uh, and, and increasing. And that is enough to have the fans kick in and the CPU start heating up and then it will throttle down. You will hit a performance wall. So that's why you wanna keep it steady. And just like a car, when you're running cr cruise control, you will get better ba uh, mileage out of the gas. So I like to keep it at 60 for minimal. And then the maximum is at 50. But since this is, has four cores, there are four cores that are constantly at 1.5 gigahertz, which is more than enough for today's task, whether it's uh, consuming media or doing some productivity work. 
and that's about it you hit ok and of course one thing we want to do is before we get going is we got to restore that registry setting that we did earlier and the reason why we want to do that is because if we don't the tablet won't sleep if we go to our powers option there is no sleep just shut down and restart and i don't know why that setting disables the sleep but the sleep i don't know it just hibernates and you could do that if you want to keep that setting then that's fine hibernating is just like a really really deep sleep it just takes longer to boot up the a computer and it'll have every all the work you were doing saved in the RAM so that's no problem if you don't mind that but I don't like it I like to keep I like to keep the sleep so I just go back to the registry and put everything back to normal so that we can get our sleep back so we go to our CS enabled double click it value data hit one enter and make sure that the data it is in fact one in parentheses and that's it is saved we close that up and we can restart our tablet and we should have our sleep and we should have the very well um, performance to battery ratio um, settings So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get the best performing out of your Surface line. But I heard there's also another way we could do this and it's using the app Throttle Stop. And what, I, what that does is helps you disable the hyper threading and all those things. But you know what? I just leave the tablet as it is. I just adjust everything locally through the registry. Well. If you guys have any comments on how to get better performance out of your pro, leave it down in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and share it to other people that needs a way to increase the performance in their pro line, their Surface Pro. And yeah, and if you love it, go ahead and subscribe and stick around for more tutorials, reviews, and how-to videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.